Okay, hear me out. Minecraft in real life. And no, I'm not talking about the disaster that was Minecraft Earth. I'm talking about 3D printing Minecraft builds. Because there is actually a way to export and then 3D print your favorite Minecraft builds, whatever they are. And it's actually pretty simple. Now, right now, this method only works for the red-headed stepchild that is Minecraft Bedrock on PC. But still, it's a pretty cool feature. What you do is just go into your world and run the command give at s structure underscore block to give yourself a structure block and then place it near the build you want to immortalize in the real world. Now, seeing how my building ability is on the level of an infant, I decided to use what's probably the coolest looking naturally generating build. And that is the ruined portal. I just simply place down a structure block and use the interface it provides me with to define its dimensions. And there's even this pretty cool preview here that's missing from Java that allows you to see what exactly you have selected. So now I prefer the build to have a pretty jagged floor instead of just having a perfect rectangular base of blocks. And that is because it makes it look like the build was just like literally drag out of the game or something. It's a pretty cool effect. Once everything is selected, you just export it as a 3D file using this button right here. Then to prepare it, you're gonna have to drag the file into some 3D software, like for example, Microsoft's own 3D Builder. And there it will most likely prompt you to tidy up the file a bit. The one thing to note is that it has a pretty hard time of converting liquids, like say, of course, lava, water, and everyone's favorite, large pools of milk. So then just remove any liquids from the build before you export it in Minecraft and then you can, I don't know, just use your own lava when the build is finally printed. From there, you can just save it as an SCL file and then open it up and ready for slicing in whatever software you use. Now, I use Creanti Slicer, seeing how I own an Ender 5 Pro printer. From there, you just want to adjust the proportions to make sure it fits on the build plate, but just make sure that the build is still big enough that you can actually tell it's made up of individual cubes. And from there, you can just start printing. And then after over 17 hours of printing, well, here it is, an actual real-life ruined portal from Minecraft. It actually turned out pretty great, don't you think? I'm actually surprised by the amount of detail and how it even managed things like the stairs over here in the portal frame, even the little overhangs around it. It actually turned out really great and I'm absolutely in love with this project. It just looks so cool, I mean look at it. So if you tried this for yourself then let me know down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see how many people are actually going to attempt this because it is a pretty fun project as you can tell. But if you found this video useful then maybe consider checking out my Patreon down in the video description below because even just one single dollar month truly goes a long way while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much for support truly goes a long way. That day, you're also going to find a link to the Ender 5 Pro printer I used. Down there's also our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's all. It's so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good bye.